Officials from the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives were among the many interrogated by the Committee of Trade and Tourism. The committee is investigating alleged financial mismanagement of government funds released to cooperative societies and these go way back to the ninth parliament. The probe was sanctioned by the Speaker of Parliament last month after receiving several complaints asking that there is value for money audit to establish whether the intended cooperatives had actually received the funds. The committee chairperson and Barora City South member of parliament Mwine Mpaka says they today expected to meet the verification committee from the Ministry of Trade which verified beneficiaries before funds were disbursed. The committee has been traversing different parts of the country where they had an interaction with several cooperatives. So it's still an ongoing investigation. Uh, we believe probably in uh, two weeks we shall be done, maximum two weeks. Contrary to other committee meetings, in today's sitting the media has been locked outside and denied access. It is reported that there are witnesses who ask they are not captured by media while testifying before this committee. Among those quizzed today is the permanent secretary to the Trade and Cooperatives Ministry who declined to speak to the media. Our committee not having journalists is because some uh, witnesses prefer not to speak in camera. So, and for us to get the information we need in time, uh, we have said to respect their wishes and we are going to proceed uh, that way because some, several witnesses have come to us asking uh, not to put it on TV. And uh, we have respected that and we are getting a lot of information because of that. It is not clear how much money has been disbursed to these cooperatives over time dating to as far back as the ninth parliament. Over time, government has disbursed an unspecified amount of money to compensate cooperatives in their cooperatives unions. However, some members of parliament were disappointed following the closing out of the media. This hope there is transparency in the investigations and the implicated government officials are apprehended. So they can hear them in, 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 in you call it in closed door? But will the report be in closed door really? I believe the, the report will be put to all nation to hear. Because the issue concerning cooperatives really concern all of us. Lusheshe County Member of Parliament, Mudoi Isaac, says he hopes all parties are heard in this investigation. He also says he wants all Ugandans to know the truth behind the allegations saying that government has been blamed for several shortcomings, much as it has been individuals on the spot. But we want the report to come out for all, all Ugandans to know what exactly is happening. Because at times we may blame government for not service, for, for, not, for, for delivering service to our people. When actually the mistake is somewhere else. So I hope for transparency, for, for the equal, or rather let me say freedom of speech in the committee, and the most of all, we want the report to come out and be presented to the Committee of Parliament, therefore to the whole Ugandans. So that Ugandans, those who have no problem, will be clear. Those who have issues, let them take responsibility. The committee is investigating two ministries, the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs and the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives. The report is expected to be out in two weeks' time, presented to the entire House, and discussed by members. Ramson Mhire, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.